Coach Eddie Downs with us on ShoresportsMD.com. He's the head Parkside golf coach. And you, know, you guys constantly battling with Decatur. Decatur's been a powerhouse uh, here in the South, but Parkside holds their own. What's it going to take to beat them? Well, we have to be more consistent for one thing. Um, we always preach to each other that bogey's a good score. So we figure if you shoot nine bogeys, that's 45. That's a good score. Uh, usually you're in the hunt if you can do that. Um, but today we uh, we had some high scores, so we couldn't compete with them today. And it's, but they're kids too. And golf, you, you're an older guy. Coach mentioned it. This is the only sport that you can play when you get older from high school. So, you know, how do you teach these kids to deal with the mental aspect of the game? For, first off, we're supposed to have fun. This Most kids won't get a scholarship playing this sport, especially, you know, from around here. And the other thing is that it's about integrity. You learn about adulthood while you play this game. You learn to be honest on everything. You learn to encourage one another. You learn to honor one another. So that's what we teach. That's what we preach. Golf is such a, a, a mental game. So, and you're right. And you do have to have integrity because if nobody's watching, do you kick that ball? You know, you, you see it happen, you know, out there on the golf courses every week. Mm -hmm. And especially with the two you're getting ready to interview now with Kate and Jonathan, they're one of the most humble players that I know that I've coached in a long time. So I'm very proud of them. Cade Byers, a youngster. He, he's a sophomore on the Parkside Rams golf team. And yeah, how long have you been playing golf? Uh, I started about two and a half years ago, just playing in the backyard and worked on it, getting better. I think we can do better. We sh we're young, so I think we've got to practice and we'll get to where we want to be. So how much time do you put into the game of golf? Uh, I play about four days a week, nine holes. We practice every day except for the weekends, which... That's what we need to do. So what would you expect of this team? What what happens to consider this season a success? Win. I think I think we need to win. We'll get there. Keep practicing. Our young guys will come. I think we'll do good. Are you tired of chasing Decatur? Yeah, we got them last year, so we had an older team then, so I think we'll yeah, I am, but we'll get there. And you've got the rest of the season and two more years after this. Yep. That, yep. We'll get there. Jonathan Lombardo is a junior for the Parkside Rams, and you picked golf over any other sport. Why? Probably because it's more of a mental game than physical. I like the mental challenge. Let's talk about the mental challenge. What is the most challenging thing on a golf course? Balancing, like, your risks and, like, what you should really do. Like, should I go for the most aggressive shot or just play it safe and ensure I get a bogey? If you have a bad shot, how do you adjust on your next shot? How do you get over it? I mean, it already happened. You just look at where you're at and do the best thing you could do. Like, what's the best opportunity I have here and do it. Would you say golf requires more mental strength than any other sport that's played in high school? I, I would hope so. <laughs> well, I mean, because some people that are watching may not consider golf a sport because you don't have to run. You don't have to do things. But it's still it's one of the most f mentally challenging. And it's not like you get to ride around on a golf cart. you got to pull the thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it takes a lot.